a growing number of women in Iran are taking to the streets to protest against mandatory hijabs. They are publicly removing their headscarves, tying them on sticks, and waving them in public. The movement was inspired by a 31-year-old woman who was arrested in December. She is now dubbed the Girl of Revolution Street, as it wasn't long after images of other women imitating her flooded social media. After the revolution in 1979, the government made it illegal for women to show their hair and they cannot wear clothes that show off their figures. Penalties include jail time and, believe it or not, lashes. A viral video of an encounter between a woman and Iran's morality police is sparking renewed debates about the requirement that women wear headscarves in public. The grainy video shows female officers assaulting the woman whose headscarf only loosely covers her hair. Even before the 1979 Islamic Revolution, women's attire was both a political and religious symbol. For decades, women in Iran have been required to wear a hijab while out in the street. Now, many are questioning the requirement and their faith in the theocratic, Shiite-dominated nation. I used to be a person who would always say her prayers and deeply believed in God. I would always say grace before having a meal. Right now, I believe in none of those things. The video appeared online last week with activists suggesting it was taken in Tehran. Though nothing in it offers hints at its location. I think that it was very unnecessary um, the way that the, I guess the police or morality police handled the situation. Um, it was very unfortunate that it was caught on camera but in a way, it was good that everyone got to see um, how people are being treated. Officials of all ranks, up to President Hassan Rouhani, have weighed in on the incident. In Tehran today, some fashionable young women wear tighter clothes with a scarf loosely covering their head, technically meeting the requirements of the law while drawing the ire of conservatives. This is how many Iranian women dress when they go out. And this is what the country's Islamic government wants them to wear. A headscarf which hides all their hair and a long loose coat. Women who don't comply fully with the government's dress code risk arrest, fines or lashes. This footage was filmed inside Iran and has been widely shared in social media. It cannot be independently verified. It appears to show a woman being arrested by Iranian police because of the way she's dressed. The hijab is an inseparable part of ideology of the Islamic Republic of Iran. But life was very different in Iran before the revolution. People dressed in Iran in those days as they do in any multicultural society. Some people were dressed like I'm dressed now. Some would come out with hijab. If we went to a mosque, for example, we used to wear hijab. But if you were at the seaside, we were dressed in swimsuits or bikinis. But after the Islamic Republic of Iran was established in 1979, life for women in Iran changed dramatically. 11th of April, I went to hospital and gave birth to my daughter. And uh, the next day when I wanted to come out, my mother brought a, a scarf and said, you can't go without the hijab in the street. It's very dangerous. They will throw acids on you. So it, that's how it became compulsory. 35 years on, and Iran has a new young generation. With increasing exposure to Western fashions, more and more women resist government restrictions on their hijab. But only a few dare to go without it. Those who do have to hide their identity. I don't believe in the hijab. I don't see any reason why I should cover my hair when I don't believe in it. So I go out dressed as a man. I risk a lot of danger by doing it, but then I feel I'm free. 
many young Iranians now have access to the internet and satellite TV channels. The clothes they choose to wear are becoming a challenge to the authorities. And then there are so many punishments for women if they don't wear hijab or they wear inappropriate hijab, what they call it, then you get fined, you get arrested, you get lashes, and you get into jail. So that is why now women of Iran protesting against compulsory hijab, because to them it's about, you know, it's, it's the most visible symbol of oppression against women. They say if you don't wear a hijab or you don't cover your head, your hair, then men cannot control themselves. Men can get excited. This is an insult to men as well. In our campaign and our movement against compulsory hijab, now men joining us to say that we don't own the women. We are just supporting them. We are fighting for freedom of choice all together because they want to show that the men in Iran are not thinking exactly, uh, you know, the same as the government of Iran. This is the first time that women taking the street and putting themselves in danger. You know, they know this is a punishable crime. They want to be heard. And the, 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 the movement now, the unrest gaining momentum. Why? Because people, men, women, the, even those women who believe in hijab, they're joining the campaign. They are fed up with religious, you know, religion, religion interfering in our, in our personal life. And I'm going to tell you right now, Nargis uh, Hosseini, the second girl, is in prison. And you know what was his, her crime? Just, you know, waving a white headscarf, uh, putting the white headscarf on, on a stick and waving it in public. Because the government of Iran think if they arrest her, then they can stop women from protesting against compulsory hijab. But it is, it is not true. It is not right. And women now taking the street from different cities and different town because they are trying to say that this is, this is 21st century and this is ugly and backward law. You're telling women how to behave and what to wear. So what did Iran look like before the Islamic Revolution? My name is Robert Sepper. Atlantean Gardens supports the women's rights in the Islamic Republic of Iran. No woman deserves to be beaten and imprisoned for exposing her hair. That's just an outrage. Thank you for sharing, and I will see you next time.